River has been blocked by sand for more than a week. The wait for businesses and fishermen continues tonight, and now a cruise ship is being turned away. News Channel 3 reporter Joe Butita has the very latest on the dredging delay. Santa Barbara's harbor is full of boats. The problem is, they have to stay there. From fishing vessels to whale watching boats like the Condor Express, business has come to a standstill. We're on our second week now being shut down. It's definitely hurting business. The harbor entrance is blocked by sand. Dredging was supposed to clear it, but the process hit a snag late Saturday night. They were about four hours in digging away, and then they had an electrical failure, and uh, those parts are being repaired, and the next sort of uh, the next anticipated start date is Thursday. But that's too late for one of Santa Barbara's big tourist draws, the cruise ships. Wednesday's visit has been canceled completely because of the harbor problems, and that could cost the city some big money, a problem that many within the harbor walls are already having to deal with. People want to go whale watching. It's a great time of year. We've had this beautiful weather, and unfortunately, yeah, we're stuck at the dock here. It's very, very tough. Um, we are escorting boats out. A lot of fishing boats are going out. The deeper draft vessels are having more difficulty. A lot of them are staying in. Dredging of the Santa Barbara Harbor happens a couple times a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. Well, last fall, they didn't do it at all because of a dispute between the Army Corps of Engineers and the contractors who actually do the dredging. So when that storm a couple weeks ago brought in all that extra sand, the problem escalated quickly. When dredging finally does begin, traffic in and out of the harbor will be severely impacted. All vessels having to wait for designated times during the day to get in and out. In Santa Barbara, Joe Butita, News Channel 3. And to